Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Asper Witch. We are playing Venice, Master of India, or yeah, soon we are. Let's uh, kill Timmy. Let's uh, split these guys right down the middle. Uh, this is perfect. Look at these. These 16 stacks make perfect twos. It's uh, almost as if I planned this, but I didn't. It's a happy coincidence. Uh, this however is one guy short. I can't get. I'm gonna get that one guy. Because he deserves to be here. He deserves to have a friend. Because otherwise, those thousand guys are gonna be all lonely. So, anyway, uh, let's get in there and let's. Uh, let's see what we can do about this uh, Timmy business. So, that's those guys. Let's get those up there. Oh, look at that. Get there then first. Try to help out. There we go. There's their army. Maybe I... <laughs> Funny, I sent the one guy instead of the 14 guys. Uh, I should have a leader here. Thank you. Oh, free stability. Thank you. Uh, just what I wanted and needed. Question here is... Well, if I do that and that, they should... Uh, December 1, December 16, December late well I will get there in time so at least I will get there sometime oh I did send I had apparently I had yeah I had four stacks of course I had four stacks why wouldn't I have four stacks Yeah, just spreading these guys out. So, Timurid messing with me. These two guys can go replace that guy that died. And the, those guys can go replace that guy that died. Oh! No, they didn't. I will, for, for a second there, I thought these guys would die as well. Whew, could have been. Could have been nasty. Send a guy to Ood. Because I saw I needed one there. Now, this might not have been the best idea. Uh... But it was an idea. So yeah, we'll see what happens with my um, with my everything. <laughs> Maybe I should stack up these, stack these guys up, and chase down there. Let's do that. Let's go hunting. Multan, go to Punjab then. Is 
these 19, 19 guys are gonna make a difference. No, they are not gonna make a difference. Because we won that battle anyway. Yeah, so this war is not gonna be terribly exciting. Uh, just gonna kill these troops. Oh, look at that, integrating Persia. What a pleasant surprise. Uh, so yeah, that happened, 24 troops. Actually, you can go take care of uh, the Mamluks. Feel free. And that would mean a lot more uh, trade power here. Now we really don't need uh, to have that merchant there because uh, we're gonna send it all along anyway. There's only one way to send it. We'll take a look at where to send that merchant after we have dealt with uh, these guys. Why don't I have a leader? There is the leader, I guess. Or is that the Punjabi leader? Baluchistan leader, I mean. Uh, Mashriki. No, Persian is accepted. That's uh, that's good. Uh, yeah, go beat up Kara Kuyum Luban. Uh, yeah, hire a free leader. Do a little dance. So those two guys could go to Kula. We have Kashmir. They could go there. And we got them. We won the siege of Azerbaijan and we won the battle of Azerbaijan. So let's get those down there. Whoa, sorry for the dizziness. So we stack work them. Uh, Great. Let's uh, split this into oblivion. Leave a guy there. And this should probably not be enough then. Uh, but still, just a few more provinces that's not under our control. Sirhind. So get up there, go to Kujand. There we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna send him there, kill that guy. And bam. Split that guy down the middle, split that guy down the middle, because that means they can't make new troops if I occupy all their ter territories. So, from now on it's just gonna be speed 5, waiting for the sieges to pop. Battle of Fayum. Uh, go down there, 430. Uh, should be assaultable fairly easy even though we have not breached I was wrong I need more morale apparently Kangra Kabulistan so let's uh, improve those sieges that are not happening what level 3 for example, so row has 16,000. Oh, that's the probably the yeah Persian troops. I'm gonna guess. Uh, let's get these guys there. Split them in half. Send the other guy there. Oh, and you can go there. So that should be uh, enough for everything. So 
let's just uh, speed this along. Uh, no need to be super tidy about this. This game is uh, is far from. Uh, It has uh, passed the point where uh, uh, effort is worth it. It's gonna be a big pile of snowball from now on, it feels like. Uh, and, uh, yeah. It would be a waste of uh, my time and yours if uh, I tried to make it beautiful as well as uh, efficient or something like that we are capped on admin power that is not good siege of charger well we are winning so as soon as we win these two sieges <laughs> the knights I remember you no, we are not going to be allies. Well, thing is, I would accept peace by now if it wasn't for these two provinces. Because they are in the Indian region. Well, maybe I can't even afford... Let's take a look at the region here. India. India. So everything this side of... Yeah, well, then I can. Then we can say, screw that. And 200% overextension, that's not going to happen. So, what's causing this? Central Dobe and Punjab is causing that. And, yeah, Row. Row makes a nice... Border 16, but I have to get rid of it, I guess. So, row then. Row it is. 100% overextension. Let's get the, the extra coins as well. Jumper. Well. Orissa doesn't have a lot of provinces, so might as well uh, release Punjab and Delhi. Well, Delhi is going to be too costly, but Punjab is a good idea because that means I can actually fight them for the province and not have to wait for a truce time. Well, I will have a like five year true Simon with Punjab but nothing like this maybe I could if I come on multi why can't I click multi M -m -m I guess that's because uh, sorry because um, Punjab would get Multan, right? If I remove Multan and say release Punjab, yeah. If I could release Multan, well, that would be a waste. Because let's look at this. Uh, I could actually get Timmy totally out of the way, right? What else can I? Well, Sir Hind as well. Uh, let's see. Release Punjab. Yeah, they would get Sir Hind, Punjab, and Multan. Uh, I could release Delhi. And if I took those, that would still be too much. 153. So I could release Kashmir. But that would be annoying. Kangra. Mewar. 
so not cashmere, but those. Still too much. I guess that's because I'm releasing. Yeah, I, obviously this is too much. Uh, Delhi is too much, obviously. You know what? I'm just gonna go with my first decision here. That was uh, I somehow I managed to get 100% overextension, but what did I do? I need 16 more. Kabulistan? Well, I don't want Kabulistan. Jampur. No. So I guess Central Do Punjab. Ghazni. Garwal. That's 88. So 12 more, I guess. Ghazni. Huh. I'm quite positive I was able to get. Well, exactly 100% by not taking a row, right? Yeah, there we go, upper dope. So that was my pick, right? And release Punjab. Yeah. Oh, and release Corazon would be in row. Severe. Who cares about severe? Uh, so yeah, that's my piece deal right there. 100% overextension, 97 deal, and the timorids will be more or less out of uh, India. Bam. And we can go on to core everything. There we go. So, gathering our troops, checking the time, 17 minutes, we have time to look at the effects of what we just did. Uh, now, whoa, 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 slow down, speed 4 for a second, uh, when it gains a claim on central dobe, yeah sure, that means my my trading company wants me to to get it central dobe uh, well I have that truce so not really gonna happen anytime soon uh, but we'll see uh, Punjab we have a truce let's take a look at our, our truce timers Koch, Nepal, Malwa and Vijayanagar, Vijayanagar 1611 that's just one more year Punjab, Khorasan, Timurid. Well, Punjab and Khorasan are the two uh, nations I released. They have a five-year truce. Timurids, Karakayunlu, and Mamluks, 1625. So there we go. Uh, those guys can actually be Basra. They will be my home. Well, that would be a strange place to have them. My home team, uh, Rebel Wipers. I don't really need all of my troops over here now. So, there we go. There we have it. That's still admin tech. That's still not going to happen. Uh, we can repay a few loans. One loan. So, when this year, May this year, our truce will end. Hmm. Question, question is, should we go to war immediately? Traders will definitely get diplo power and influence. Ah, uh, yeah, this, uh, this overextension is going to take me. 1613, that's two years 
longer than uh, oh there there we go baluchistan is part of me uh, that will give me an army there i'll send it to my rebel wipers uh, we need we need a leader we need we need this guy to go there thank you so Corazon, I can actually vassalize. So let's take a look at Corazon. What are your cores? It's all over here. Then you are not interesting. Sadly, I will just eat you up then. This is. Uh, it's a shame that uh, vassal feeding is not an option look at this as well uh, right we have one merchant well if I actually I wonder it's only 58% here so Yeah, this is this is decisions, which is uh, well. I guess I could send the guy to Basra. I am sending it up to Persia, but the thing is that part of it is staying in Persia, which is a waste. And uh, likewise, I could. Yeah, I don't know. This is working out great anyway. 76. So everything is moving from Constantinople. And everything is moving into Venice. So Venice is fine. Uh, still have a lot of trade power leaving Ragusa into Vienna. So let's actually let's take a look at this. What happens if I send this guy there? Uh, what would my trade power be? Three percent. I'd send two point four back down. Yeah, sure. Why not? Or I could use that merchant to actually increase my income by 10% uh, that would be 6.9 ducats that even more than I would get from that guy so let's uh, let's do that 68 to come on show me 73 so that's five ducats well that's uh, that's more one than he was transferring anyway so we are completing offensive finally we get forced march that's uh, that's awesome uh, yeah our uh, rebel fighters over there stacking up and yeah this is our army over here now we could go to war again i guess our truces are up Vijaya, Malwa, they are fighting Castile. And Chan, Langjang, and Pegu. Pegu. So, what's this Castile war about? Castilian conquest of Surat. Surat is up there in Malwa. So, Let's see, Castile is, well the war leader is Vijaya Nagar, <sighs> hmm. I should actually, I should take Surat at least, I wish Malwa would have been war leader, still the big alliance, oh well, uh, I can start this war 
because even though I'm doing all this integration here, uh, I can at least uh, start. Uh, what's it called? Uh, sieging things. Getting um, shit done. Kafia war. Why are you messing with me? Alright. Going to Surat then. Oh, they called a crusade, apparently. Against uh, Vijayanagar. Oh well. Sweet. That's uh, our second crusade, I think. One against uh, the Ottomans. Or was it the Mambox? I don't remember. Either way, it's a it's a nice bonus. Uh, now let's see. We definitely want Jarkhan, so we should put an army on top of it. Uh, and Loser. We should uh, split these guys up. I really don't want uh, other European nations being here. They mess up my group. So, what's next? Bangladesh, Adyat Asham, Ankara. Ankara is in Turkey, I know that. Kill that guy then. Keeping an eye on everything. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, well, these guys are gonna split up to these four provinces. There we go. Um, let's just wait for... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go kill that guy. Hmm. But what to send there? Let's send this guy. And while traveling, let's pick up a new... Let's pick up a leader for him. Uh, not that guy, this guy. There we go. Come on. Die already. Go back down. Whoa. Stack up. Come dash. Good. Stack up. There's so many of them. So, so many. But they can't win. I almost feel sorry for them. And it's almost a little bit too silly. Let's hunt down that army. We have Karmanese nationalists. So, let's put our rebel fighters to the test. Uh, our 6,000 guys are back there, so let's uh, uh, consolidate apparently. Let's show up this trick once more, uh, moving this general here out of the unit. There we go, and I can put him over here. Thank you. And let's keep moving to Tondainado. Karaman. Now let's see. Izmir. Mewat Kuthaya. Kuthaya is over here. Had to. Let's take a look at Turkey, by the way. There is a few provinces left. 
Ankara, Kataya, Izmir, Hudavendigar, and Hamid. Well, it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be worth it. I think. They are going into Coromandel. Listen up in Kashmir. Hmm. I'm coring up there. I should take care of it. Minus 21. See, I just four. Siege. F siege phase four. That's not too much of a waste. Uh, we won the siege of Mandu. So those guys can go together. And as soon as this guy. Ooh, free stability. Sweet. So now I could actually consider breaking a truce if I need to. Well, let's see. 12,000 troops, that's them. And these troops are duking it out. So when they're done, I will send that leader to the other army. Mysore. And to Vijayanagar. You and the Desh. Now that army here is gonna lose its leader. Go back to Aleppo and our traveling salesman over here. It's gonna need that to fight the rebels. And when you're done, get down to West Berar for good measure. Siege of East Berar with that guy. Actually, we can siege two guys. Such a manly man. Or something like that. You know what? Take care of those guys. Don't want to lose the siege for no reason. So, 43 against 9. Hold the freaking line. Uh, well, Timurids can get a Cassus Bali all they want. You won't see me care. Uh, they are going into Coromondo. I'm betting my left something. All right, let's take a look at that timer. It's probably up to 33 freaking minutes. I got sidetracked by this uh, this air war. Uh, lost a claim. Well, Oman is no longer claimed. We'll take care of that some other time. Mandla. Well, for someone that uh, was going to India, I did spend quite a bit of time uh, care of the Arab states to be honest <laughs> could have uh, made this way down here passed pass them by but that would have wouldn't have been fun uh, okay Coromondo see I was right they're going back into North Konka siege there and take care of those it's an offer we can take because we have max prestige uh, even though I don't really use my spies we are at 66 Repub Republican tradition how is this happening am I not picking a new guy every time Oh, it's the integrations, of course. Stupid of me. Always the integrations. Well, we're done with that, so... That should uh, actually make our uh, Republican tradition skyrocket compared to what it's been at. Uh, 66. Let's uh, pick an easy one, then. Oh, they didn't. They went into Kanara. 
almost passed them by. Hmm. It's almost too easy. But not. Somewhat of a guessing game, but it's fun. <laughs> uh, let's uh, get those provinces sieged up. Oh, look at that, Carmondel. I was wrong. Great man has died. Hmm. Global tariffs is getting me nothing, I think. And I guess I really won't be needing any diplo power. So let's go with the money route for now. Preserving our income and increasing our income. We won the siege of Bastar. I'm hoping that uh, Venice does not get a foothold. Because I don't want to fight them to complete this. be no fun at all. It's a lot easier to just fight India and Indian provinces. Now, about that, yeah, I was uh, sidetracked by this war and I was gonna end this episode and that was like five minutes ago. So yeah, there we go. Look at this. Coromandel. My money is on Coromandel. Uh, anyway, Thank you for watching, uh, be sure to click the like, subscribe and comment buttons and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode, uh, so long.